Windows 11 System Restore. If your computer ever has a problem, Windows 11's System Restore might be the answer that you're looking for. System Restore can undo recent changes that may be causing your computer to not work properly and go back to a previous point in time when your computer was working well. So how far can you go back? Well, you can use System Restore to go back to a previous computer state from any time in the last 60 days. So what does System Restore actually do? Well, let's suppose you've installed an app or driver that's causing problems, or your computer has suddenly started acting slow or unstable. You start to receive error messages, or one of your apps has stopped working properly or at all. An update has caused a problem, or you've changed a setting and don't know how to change it back. Using System Restore can often fix all of these problems by turning the computer back to a previous working state. By the way, using System Restore will not remove any of your personal folders or personal files such as your photos, music, videos, documents, downloads and so on. System Restore may uninstall an app or driver that has recently been installed though, or remove a recent update, or change back a recent setting, which can be a very good thing if an app, driver, update or setting are causing problems. System Restore on your computer might be switched on already, but if it's not, it's simple to turn it on, so let's look at that now. So click in the search box and type recovery. Click on recovery. Then choose configure system restore. So just here will be your C drive. Click on your C drive. Then configure and turn on system protection if it's not turned on already. Down here is the amount of drive space you want to allow System Restore to use. I would recommend giving this at least 5 gigabytes, or give it 10 to 20 gigabytes if you're feeling generous. The more space you give it here, the more restore point dates you will be able to choose from. Then click on apply, and OK. Now just here it says, create a restore point right now for the drives that have system protection turned on. So let's click on create. And here it says, type a description to help you identify the restore point. The current date and time are added automatically. So let's create a restore point. I'm just going to call this computer is working well, but you can call this whatever you like. Then click on create and give it a moment for it to create the restore point. This usually takes less than one minute for Windows to create the restore point, but it can take a little longer. Then once it's done, click on close, then OK. So we've made sure that system restore is turned on and we've set a restore point. So let's suppose sometime in the near future your computer has a problem and you would like to get your computer back to how it was before the problem occurred. By the way, you might want to disable your antivirus software before doing this as it can sometimes stop System Restore from doing its thing. So let's do this. Click in the Windows search box and type Recovery, then press Enter. Then click on Open System Restore. If you see this window, click on Choose a different restore point, then click on Next. If Show More Restore Points appears just here, then put a tick in the box. Here you can see the date and time when each restore point was made, a short description of it here, and the type of restore point. 
Many of these restore points that are labelled as manual are ones that I've created. For example, here is the restore point I made earlier in this video. And any restore points that are not labelled as manual are the ones that Windows has created automatically. So to restore your computer back in time, choose the time and date that you want to go back to, then click on Next. At the top it says, confirm your restore point. And down below it says, if you have changed your Windows password recently, we recommend that you create a password reset disk. This does not apply to us with the method that we're using. And here it just reminds us to save any unsaved work and close all other windows. So when you're ready, click on finish. Then it says, once started, system restore cannot be interrupted. Do you want to continue? Once you click on yes, Windows will automatically turn your computer back to the time and date of the restore point you selected, and it will restart your computer. This took about 12 minutes for Windows to set this computer back to the restore point that I selected. I have seen some computers take well over an hour to do this, so leave plenty of time for this part. You can use System Restore as many times as you want to. Something to be aware of about System Restore is that sometimes Windows will make little to no restore points, occasionally leaving you with just the restore points that you have created. So be sure to create a restore point yourself now and then. But most of the time, Windows should also be creating restore points for you automatically in the background without you having to do anything. Even so, it's a good idea to create a restore point yourself about once a week. So that was how to use Windows 11's System Restore. Well that's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you next time.